To rid people of this suffering and genocide is the main reason and purpose of our military operation. What a surprise. The dictator lies through his teeth. Some with flags and fervor. Others with the letter Z that's been painted on some Russian military vehicles in Ukraine. And, like many before him, as a leader, he is becoming Brezhnev or Khrushchev or something like that. Like, like he's literally turning the clock back in the, the, the crazy Soviet style. I'm a patriot, says Tatyana. If our government's fighting in Ukraine, it must be necessary. They use nationalism to sway the public. Inside the stadium, where the World Cup final had been four years ago, this time... Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin! It was President Putin out in the middle. On the anniversary of Russia's annexation of Crimea, the Kremlin leader gave a patriotic pep talk to his people about events in Ukraine. Stadia, built for sport to advance their political agenda. So this is really uh, a show by the Kremlin to really bolster uh, that support for the country, for the military, and for what it has described as a military operation in Ukraine. But of course, this is uh, a full-scale war targeting what we've seen, uh, civilian infrastructure. And claim victory in areas where there are no winners. At these rallies were many, including famous Russian celebrities, like this guy. Russian swimmer Evgeny Rylov. He attended the rally, medals and all, with the Z logo on his jacket. The International Gymnastics Federation has opened disciplinary proceedings against Russian gymnast Ivan Kuliak. The decision comes after the 20-year-old wore a Z symbol on his chest whilst claiming a bronze medal on the podium of the Gymnastics World Cup in Doha. He was next to the Ukrainian gold medalist Kovtan Ilya when the event occurred. Rylov follows Russian gymnast Ivan Kuliak donning the symbol after his competition in Qatar. The Guardian reported that in just two weeks' time since the start of the invasion of Ukraine, the Z has gone from a military marking to the main symbol of public support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Officials eager to show their support for the war have even pledged to include the letter in the names of their region. For his Sickening display, Kuliak will face discipline. For Rylov, it has only just begun. A gold medalist in both the 100 and 200 meter backstroke in Tokyo, after attending Putin's rally donning the Z, Rylov saw swimwear brand Speedo end its contractual relationship with him. After announcing the end of their partnership in a press release, they noted the company would donate any outstanding sponsorship fees to the UN Refugee Agency. The latest figures via the BBC are dire, to say the least. More than 10 million people have now fled their homes in Ukraine because of the Russian invasion, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees says, as well as the 3.8 million who have left for neighboring countries. Another estimated 6.5 million people are thought to be displaced inside the war-torn country itself. Part of Speedo's statement read as follows. We condemn the war in Ukraine in the strongest possible way and stand in solidarity with the people of Ukraine, our athletes, and our teammates who have been impacted by the conflict. Rylov was one of eight Russian athletes seen at Putin's speech. Among the others photographed at the rally were the cross-country skier Alexander Bolshinov, who won three gold medals at the Beijing Games last month, and the Olympic ice dancers Nikita Katsalapov, and Victoria Sinitsina. Remember the Russian dictator Vladimir Putin invoking cancel culture and the author J.K. Rowling? Well, Business Insider has the latest. Rylov said he believed he'd become the target of a witch hunt because of his success in the pool. I think the whole point is that I am the world face of swimming and double the demand on me, he said. Rylov, 25, really does have the confidence down, doesn't he? The face of swimming? What world is he living in? Oh, right. <laughs> True, my bad. I say this respectfully. Dude was 13th in the ISL and his own club's number two when it came to scoring. Best in the world? 
Tisk, tisk, my friend. Rylov's presence at the rally has only fueled swimmers' calls on the FINA to ban Russian athletes from competing in its competitions. FINA has blocked Russian athletes from competing internationally under the flag or symbols from their country, but hasn't committed to the full ban that many other international sporting federations have instituted. The organization instead committed to evaluating athletes and officials' participation on a case-by-case -case basis. However, the athletes who attended stood on the stage as the Russian national anthem played. Some have recognized it as a dig to how Russian teams at recent Olympic Games did not have the anthem played at their respective ceremonies because of a widespread government-led doping scheme.